agree that our fashion sense has totally changed in the year 2020. It is so hard to want to get dressed up and go out. There's just nowhere to go. And lately, all I want to do is be comfortable. I'm Mary Dominique and welcome back to another Target haul of mine. I love doing these Target hauls. Their pieces are so classic and neutrals are great. They're versatile and affordable. I'm going to be linking all of these pieces as of right now. They're all still available. Some are even on clearance. I am super excited to show you guys the items I got. Quick disclaimer, a couple of the items are not from Target. There's like jeans, some shoes, and maybe a handbag or two that are not from Target, but mostly everything that you're gonna see is from Target. I tried to make a lot of outfits with these pieces. If you like styling videos and you wanna see more of these, don't forget to subscribe and let's hop in. The first piece I want to show you, and honestly one of my favorite pieces, is this light overcoat in the color camel. First of all, it's on clearance, so I would try and snag this immediately. I paid $74 for this, and I believe it's on sale for $37. It is a lightweight, gorgeous coat, and the inside is lightly lined. It has buttons. It has these pockets and honestly it is just the perfect staple in your wardrobe and I can't say enough about it. I wanted to show you a few ways to wear this. Like I said in the video, I'm really trying to use lots of Target pieces and make all Target outfits. First I am pairing it with these leather leggings. These were $14.99. They are the cutest leggings. I got a size small in these. I honestly wish I got an extra small. I'm usually a size at 26 or 27 in pants, just for reference. I paired it with some more texture here, and I have this little velvet top. This was $13. I bought a medium in this just because I wanted some room for the girls, but I just went ahead and did kind of an all black outfit. I felt like the cropped velvet top just gave it a little more edge, and then I did a black boot with this, and it's just a really simple, clean outfit for streetwear. It's comfortable. I could totally see it with just white sneakers as well and maybe a ball cap. Just a really cute chic outfit. Another casual way to style up that jacket is with some jeans. So I just swapped out the black Wild Fable leggings for a pair of ripped denim. These are a little bit bleach wash. They're cute. They're from Pretty Little Thing. I will link a very similar pair but I really wanted to show off these glasses. These are really fun. I saw Kylie Jenner pulled off a pair of these. They're kind of old school style. I would say basically like a 90s style, something I would have like never worn a year ago. They work really well with this outfit. You're gonna see these glasses quite a few times. Throw on a little black bag to match the top. You can always give yourself a little spin on this outfit. Do a black bodysuit or a turtleneck but I really like the camel coat with the jean with the black accents. Continuing with the very casual look, I kept the jeans on and I opted out for a bubble coat. I've been looking for a black bubble coat that's literally shiny like this. It really reminds me of the Aritzia style, but this one's just a lot more casual, more bubble. I got this tank top. It's like a white white beater. I don't know if they still call them that anymore, but I wanted to show you a few ways I would style just a plain white tank top, and this is one of the ways. I feel like it's very sporty and casual, definitely very Kendall Jenner. I could totally see her wearing this street style in New York. This is just the vibe lately, right? So I opted out for a white ball cap just to match this. You could do a white beanie. That would look really great. The bubble coat I actually got in a medium. I did want it a little oversized. This is Wild Fable really fun this is super trendy right now and really in also it has a zip closure and buttons and again i just got it a little oversized because i wanted that look so next here all i did was swap out the jeans for leggings and the shoes for sneakers these leggings i didn't know i needed them i feel like i'm always just black leggings black leggings i barely even do pattern leggings something about this gray was super flattering and just the whole the fit of them was really nice these are the Wild Fable, and I got these in an extra small. I read some comments on my last Target haul and when I was talking about maybe I should size down, and a couple girls said yes, like size down. So I tried out the extra small, and I'm so glad I did. I think I'm gonna stick with the extra small from now on. Really casual, again, all I did here was just swap out the jeans for leggings. Still super casual and cool. This is really 
the most perfect outfit especially for the things that are going on lately the occasions that we're going to which is like nothing this seems to be a good versatile outfit with basic pieces that, that you can wear anywhere next outfit i just have a few pieces that i really have been dying to show off one of them being this cute little tie-dye top this is from a new day and if you're not super into tie-dye but you've been wanting to try it out neutral is the way to go this style tank top is beyond flattering now i have like six of these tank tops because i'm so obsessed with them in the a new day brand i do like to wear especially in these tank tops an extra small they fit really well they're definitely longer so if you like longer tank tops these ones are really nice they come just straight across at the bottom and then i have another bucket hat this was definitely one of the most asked about pieces in my last target haul so i wanted to purchase it in black as well here it is i am absolutely in love with these little hats these are in the juniors section then i popped on the camel pea coat i would say it's not the warmest and it's definitely a nice layering piece and i love it here with just a leather and black moment if you're going for comfort but you really want to be like a badass you might want to go for this more matrixy style i popped on those black sunnies they're really cool and just swapped out the tie-dye tank top for the black version of that again i got this one in an extra small as well and then i popped on the big oversized bubble coat totally a fun outfit i love each and every one of these pieces they're all huge staples in my closet and i guarantee if you get them you'll be so happy this bubble coat was also only 40 dollars, and i feel like you can't beat the price another way i am styling that tank is with these sweatpants that i didn't know i needed oh man i am absolutely in love with the style of these these are universal thread and they are such a cool pant slash jogger slash sweatpant i'm in love with these so these have a really thick roping and then they have pockets which are really nice and then the like pipelining detail all the way down and just a really cool closure of course i'm in love with the neutral color it's really gorgeous and super up my alley right now these pants are really thick and amazing and for 25 dollars between the style and the comfort they are so worth it i'm so into browns lately as well chocolatey browns and they had some aviator style glasses in this chocolate brown and honestly i feel like 15 dollars for such a quality pair of sunglasses is so so affordable Target is killing it with the sunglasses lately i always make sure i go over to the accessories and check out the sunglasses i purchased a size small in these sweatpants if you wanted to get them oversized i bet you i could have gone with a medium as well but i did get the small and i'm really happy with the way they fit this next outfit is to honestly just showcase this really beautiful sherpa zip fleece jacket once i tried it on i knew i knew this is the all in motion this is very very versatile you could wear it so many ways commuting around everyday wear some features are these really great thumb holes i love the thumb holes it has a zipper and then it has these pockets with a zipper as well it's a really comfortable versatile jacket and it's really really soft and then how it's fleece lined is just really nice I absolutely love this this was $35 and I picked up a small in this jacket and here I just paired it with jeans and that same tank top really easy and comfortable if you wanted to see it worn a little more casually a little more sportswear I have it here with those gray leggings I wouldn't say that these leggings are for working out they're really just a cottony thicker material and then I paired it with a beanie that I purchased I am so in love with this beanie it's very thick and warm, but it just looks expensive. It looks luxe. I believe it was $15, but definitely worth it. The color alone is just so luxurious and delicious. I love this. So, you know, pop the beanie on with the leggings and sneakers and you're good to go. This outfit is so casual for on the run. Obviously, Sherpa is just like... This next outfit, I styled a graphic tee. I absolutely love this one. So this is a Ramones band tee. It's got some of the original members' names on it. And I love the Ramones. So this was kind of a no-brainer, especially with the more muted tone. I paired it here with the gray leggings. And then again, the bucket hat. I just love this bucket hat because it's a wool blend. So it's kind of warm. And it just kind of adds a finishing touch to any outfit. 
as soon as I put it on with this outfit, I was like, wait, this is actually like really, really fun and cute. And then I just did a little crossbody bag. And this outfit kind of took me by surprise because I thought it was so much cuter once I had the whole ensemble on. Super cash. And I loved it so much. I just wanted to show one more way to wear it. So I just popped on the camel pea coat. I feel like this gives it a whole different look, a little more chic, obviously. I did go for a medium in the tee just so it was a little bigger and I could do a little more with it. I cannot wait to show you guys this scarf. This is a blanket scarf and it is color blocked. So it's kind of black on the inside, gray. It's a blanket scarf, so it's oversized. This is such a soft, cozy material. It is so comfortable on the skin. They paired it with the bubble coat and those black little oval glasses. The glasses are polarized. I think I forgot to mention that. So those glasses are really, really nice for the winter and the summer, really. So I love this scarf. I can kind of show you it bigger because you can wear it black and have like the little gray moment. Or of course, you can have it gray and show off the black. It could be worn as a shawl, it could be worn as a scarf. And like I said, it feels so comfortable on the skin. Such a great material and it's really warm. It's got a little bit of a fringe detail and it is perfect for your winter wardrobe. Next up, one of my favorite little outfits from Wild Fable is this little combo set. Now, these don't actually go together, but maroon is such a vibe right now. I really wanted to try to find some pieces in the store and match them up. These are the $5 t-shirts I'm always raving about. I have so, so many, except this one is v-neck, and I really like that. It's kind of bringing me back to the 90s, and I really love how it looks with the legging. I paired it here with the camel overcoat yet again because it is just so glam it kind of takes this outfit and takes it a little more dressy but i've been loving matching sets with pea coats and hats it's just something about the look is really cool i've been seeing it all over instagram and i wanted to show you guys a way to do it using all target uh let me know if you try this outfit i think it's really cute target's been honestly killing it with the active wear for some reason i always looked past it but lately I've been like into the matching sets. They always have matching sets. So I went over there and I was like, okay, which one do I like? And you know I'm a neutral person and I fell in love with this color. It's like a charcoal navy. I picked up a set. This is from the Joy Lab. So I've got these seamless leggings, which I'm really into ever since I fell in love with this one Walmart pair that I'm in love with. I've been deciding to try out more of the seamless leggings. They're really cool. They've got a really nice waistband that keeps you sucked in and they're really lightweight. They have a cool little design on them. And then here we have this like double lined bra. It's such a cool sports bra. This is a great outfit for casual or actually working out. It has this netting mesh on top and then it has a removable padding inside the inner one and it's kind of a high neck and again, double, double bra here. I got a small in both. And I wanted to show you another cool way how I was saying like I love the pico on top of a casual wear. It's such a look right now. Just popped on some high Nike socks. Just a cool look, really easy. But I can't say enough about this little duo set. It is such a great outfit, so affordable for such cool active wear. So don't skip out on Target's active wear. Honestly, it's really, really cute. So this did come in a bunch more colors and you could find them online. I'll be sure to leave the link. Last but not least, one of my favorite little combos is this plaid kimono and this fedora. I absolutely love this fedora. I have it in blue as well. And when I saw it in the tan color, I knew I had to grab it. I really love this open front kimono. It's actually really warm and the colors are really neutral. I've been loving greens lately as well. As you can see, my nails are green. I love this outfit. I just paired it with the same little matching set just to show you how cute this is this already went on clearance so i would definitely try and snag it if i was you it's really really warm and it has a bit of a fringe at the bottom i just love these style kimonos and you can't go wrong with these fedoras at target for 22 dollars i've styled these a million ways if you follow me on instagram you've seen me wear these all sorts of ways i mean from dresses to band tees to kimonos that there are so many ways to style this hat I just can't get over the price so I did want to do a little 
kind of dupe comparison really quick to one of my really expensive hats and I feel like this is the perfect dupe. So these are both wide brimmed fedoras. As you can see, they're almost identical. This is my olive and pick hat. This retails I think at 99 or maybe 108 and then the Target one retails for $22. So I'm first going to pop on the it's called the Lenny hat. It's olive and pick. It's really amazing and I'm definitely someone that invests in my hats because I like them to last a really long time, but you definitely don't have to spend the money to get the look. This is the Lenny hat and like first things first is I can tell the whole brim is just a lot harder. So it's a thicker material that won't bend nearly as easily. Whereas the Target one, it's just a little bit lighter. However, they're really, really similar. It's just so cute. So here's how this looks again. And then obviously the inside. So the inside of this has like a silk lining and it's adjustable. Let's see this one. So this one's also adjustable, but the inside is just plain. Almost identical, honestly, if you ask me. Again, the olive and pick one is just gonna be a more sturdy, and then the inside's a lot nicer. But honestly, this is pretty much the exact same look for a quarter of the price. So if you want the Lenny hat but don't wanna spend the money, Go for this, it's a super cute and it will last you a long time. It's also kind of warm. Really quick, while I was at Target, I picked up these two candles. The Threshold candles are my favorite candles. I purchased the Ashwood Palo Santo. So this is Notes of Patchouli and Oakwood. Totally my style lately. I've been really loving the more earthy scents. I love this. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's a very neutral scent. I feel like everyone could get down with. Ashwood and Palo Santo. It's so clean. It's so clean and earthy. And then also the charcoal and black tea. Notes of birch and lavender. I mean, this one's almost like very sexy, very like almost like a cologne. I just love this. So, I mean, I love it. The price is right. I mean, these were like $10. I think that was only five. So, the threshold prices are really great. Let me just show you a close up to die for. Both of these, you need. Pop them in the car, I'll link them. All right guys, so that is it for the video. Target has me looking good, has my house smelling good. I am such a fan of Target right now. Their active wear, their lounge wear. Really wanted to show you guys some more comfortable pieces. So if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And until next time, Target and Starbucks, dangerous combination. <laughs>